Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome to the Frank Relly Gallery. My name's Helen Gillet. nice to see you again on Monday nights. Thanks for everybody who's been tuning in every Monday. Welcome back to a very special edition of my Monday night series here at Frank Relly's Gallery, uh, photography gallery here on Royal Street in the heart of the French Quarter in New Orleans. And um, I'm happy to be here. Frank is a, a wonderful person, a wonderful artist, and a friend of mine. And um, we're going to... Um, talk a little bit about how we know each other in just a minute. I'm going to do one more song for you, and, uh, and then you'll get to meet Frank. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Um, make sure to leave some comments if you want. I read them later after the show, so I'm always really, really happy to read your comments. So welcome. I'm going to do a song I wrote about uh, a man who used to play in the French Quarter a lot. His name is Alcide Pavageau, a wonderful bass player. And uh, he earned a nickname of Slow Drag Pavajo because he used to dance a really good slow drag. Um, and uh, he built himself a base out of a wooden barrel and a bedpost and some keys. And he, um, he was around here playing and filling, filling this beautiful, beautiful city with his music from 1900 when he was born. Probably wasn't born playing the bass, but soon after. Um, 1900 till about 1988. So um, here's a song for a slow drag. Slow drag Pavajo. <laughs> Slow Dre, Pava Show, find me a barrel and build me cello. Cause I've been dragging this good heart around. The grit and the ego. This town, slow drape of a show. Find me a bedroom, build me cello. Cause Lord, I want to strut with a barrel cello and march in parades cross broad to the bayou before my last anchor pulls away and I bury his fingers in a second cream slow day Baba find me a bedroom build me cello Slow, 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 Dre. Thank you. 
take a couple hands together any day. Thank you so much. Um, I, uh, I want to thank you guys for tuning in, and um, I want to welcome my lovely host this evening, um, the owner of this gallery, and of uh, the, the man behind the camera who took these beautiful pictures um, to join me. We're going to just chat for a little while, so Frank, you want to come join me? All right. Hello, hello, everybody. Thank you, Helen. So, so what's his name? Slow, slow drag. Slow drag. Papa, Papa Joe. Joe. His first name was Alcide. Alcide Papa Joe. Yep, and uh, he lived here in New Orleans. He's a member of Preservation Hall Jazz Band. Oh, all right. Uh, but he played with a lot of other people, as all, a lot of New Orleans musicians. We we play in a lot of different bands, so he was no exception. But he, um, the reason I found out about him is because at the U.S. Mint, they had a jazz exhibit. I'm sorry, I'm going to put my talking mask on. So here we go. We got to be safe out there, everybody. Let's see. Can you still hear me? Here we go. So like I was saying, um, Alcide Pavageau, um, the reason I found out about his bass is because the U.S. Mint had a jazz exhibit uh, where they featured his instrument, and I have a soft spot for anybody that makes their own instruments. For sure. A um, uh, big shout out to all the luthiers of the world to be able to turn turn wood into a music making, um, you know, magical vehicle is one of the most beautiful art forms I think out there. So he was not only a musician but a luthier, and I fell in love with the bass. It, it has this really um, badass sort of gritty 
look to it. Mm -hmm. And you could tell he really played it all over the place. And um, I, um, wow, I'm getting emotional talking about it because in this climate, I really miss playing everywhere. And, and the idea of wear and tear on an instrument being dragged around this beautiful town right. is what draw, drew me in. So. Well, I'm, I'm so glad you were able to bring your instrument here. Uh, you know, when this all, uh, when all this started, it was, uh, I was confused as to what to do. Yeah. Um, and you were one of the first people, after I got over my stage of just uh, not doing anything except for watching the news, I, uh, I thought to call you because, mm -hmm. uh, you know, when you're talking about uh, Pava Joe, you know, the, the music of New Orleans, uh, the people who have turned the those instruments and their voices um, into the vibrations they go out into the world and bring people to New Orleans. Right now, that's what we're all missing. You know, mm -hmm. obviously, we had the first week in a jazz fest uh, that passed up. Mm -hmm. And so when I've been trying to figure out what I can do, I thought, uh, I saw you doing your Instagram live shows, and I thought, well, um, you and I had did a, sh did a show here two years ago um, when I first did that evening series. And I thought, wouldn't it be, it would be great to bring you here to, mm -hmm. uh, to share um, your music with, uh, you know, it's not, it's not the same, obviously, as being in the same room with it, but uh, we have the, the glories of the internet. We can, we can uh, make, make the best of it. So hey, everybody. Thank, <laughs> thank you all for being here um, in all of the different uh, platforms and devices, and thank you for being here. It's my pleasure. You know, uh, Frank, Frank called me this week, like he was saying, he just, um, it was such a beautiful blessing for me because I was kind of down this week. A lot of musicians were just really feeling it this week, just you know, like, oh, it's supposed to be Jazz Fest, you know, and hey, Michael. Um, and we got a couple passerbys on Royal Street. He's wearing a mask and being very socially responsible. Uh, and it's so nice to see people live. Um, but but it was, it was uh, it's been a tough week. And, and so, of course, tough for everybody around the world. And um, but here in New Orleans, a lot of us make uh, our living and also just live for the spirit that is this time of year, all the festivals, all the music, all the food, all the vendors and all the art, and there's an explosion of art and music and, and food and, and love and dancing and um, so, so many things are supposed to be happening right now that are not. And it's hard to capture it, of course, you guys seeing us through a little um, screen or a bigger screen, some people have really big screens, um, but it's just not quite the same, right? But uh, in lieu of that, it's good to remember that we're still here. Um, the human touch still exists. Uh, clapping, the sound of clapping is still uh, something that you can hear. <laughs> see? And uh, you could try it at home. Um, and it's, it's, we're still here, we're alive and well. And um, I'm alive and well, and so is Frank and, and his beautiful artwork and his love for musicians is something that I um, think is so beautiful too. Um, that that he, he talked about music vibrating through his art and through his space, and he's always been such a big supporter. So think, I'm talking about you in the third person. I know you're right here. I just, I'm but talking to the audience too. For sure, for sure. <laughs> it's, so. it's strange, because like we're talking, but then we're also talking. One of the things for me that I've thought about a lot during this time is, is that, you know, when you make work, uh, you know, some artists are like, oh, I make work for myself. Um, but ultimately for me, I don't feel I don't feel what I made until it's received. You know, it's the, the speaker and the receiver is like essential for, uh, for the yeah. art making process. And so uh, this works, but I can't wait to get back to the other part where um, we can be in the same space. Um, but if for the time being, I'm really thankful that you are here. We have a couple of people uh, gathering outside um, to, to get, get some of their music fixed. It's really special. So I'm, I'm gonna let you get back to the music. Yes, here we go. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Taking the mask off because Frank is passing by and I've got a little more space. Um, here we go. Hi, hi. Nice to see some folks out here um, on the streets. There's a, an incredible dog who's very excited and yapping away. So he's going to be my, my background. Uh, he's, my, he's my backup musician. And um, thank you for being my audience. 
Um, as usual, on Monday nights, you guys can support, um, you can please check out frankrelly.com, that's R-E-L-L-E, -E. Um, and, uh, and of course, my, my, my website has some updated information and about how to tip me um, for these Monday streams or buy merch or um, just give donations, pretend you're buying a ticket at a box office, because um, this is a show, a concert that I'm treating uh, like, a, like a real show, and it feels that way. I'm starting to get used to, to really performing for you guys uh, through, these, through this medium of um, live streaming. Um, I'm used to it, but I, I still miss you very, very much, so <laughs> can't wait to get back in front of you. I wanna say hi to everybody tuning in, and thank you for your support. You're literally keeping me employed. <laughs> like I still have a job thanks to you that are tuning in online, which is incredible. And, um, and I also, uh, more importantly than money, because um, we might be redefining uh, all of that anyway, uh, at this point, it's the connection, right, between people. So thank you. Histoire paraît dérisoire dans le temps qui fuit. Même si elle est vaine, cette douce humaine, vers quoi et vers qui le petit royaume sans majordome, c'est chez lui. Et j'avais à la traîne, viens, s'il vent amène, j'ai du frascati. Ne crains pas la pluie de canard la vie amène, Sophie, au petit royaume sans majordome, c'est chez lui. Silence, une petite mouche danse sur un air de gigueux. Des cheveux de neige et des yeux qui recherchent on ne sait quoi ni qui. Le petit royaume sans majordome, 
That song is a Belgian song. It's written by a beautiful poet and singer-songwriter and artist and humanist and um, friend. And his name is Julos Bocarne. And I've been doing that song for a long time. And uh, it has a special, um, special meaning tonight because um, I, I used to... I used to put food on the table doing weddings when I first moved to New Orleans, and um, I'm so grateful that people want cello at, at, at their wedding, you know? Um, and I played a lot of Bach and Pachelbel's Canon and Mozart and Beethoven and uh, Bach, lots of Bach. Um, and uh, it, was a, it was a good way to earn my living as I was learning to play jazz and improvise and play funk and rock and all the other types of music I learned in this beautiful city filled with amazingly talented musicians. And, uh, and then as I progressed, I, I, I started saying no to the weddings because I was getting more work other places with my own art. And I'm so blessed for that. Um, but I make a few exceptions now um, to play for uh, people who um, are, are uh, you know, friends. I play for some friends every now and then. And uh, when Frank Riley asked me to play his wedding, 
Um, I, I definitely said yes. Um, and, uh, <laughs> he, uh, and, and I think that song specifically was one that, w that was a good one. So he's, he's jumping up and down for those of you that can't see him off the camera. And uh, it feels good. To see Frank jumping up and down with a mask on, you may never see this again, so. dating my now wife for uh, a couple of years, and she was, uh, you know, we had a great relationship, but she never said anything about marriage. And then Helen came to play at my gallery, and uh, we were standing there, and we were dancing a little bit, and she turned to me and she said, if we ever get married, wouldn't it be amazing to have her there? And I thought, oh my gosh. <laughs> Maybe she will marry me, so thanks, Helen. Oh my God, I'm so happy. She's a really great girl, so you're welcome. You are welcome. You guys, Frank married an amazing person, so. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm gonna keep playing. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, that was Frank Relly. This is his work uh, that you see behind me. Beautiful photographs taken right here in Louisiana, and he knows the Louisiana swamps better than most people. He goes out in there in the middle of the night and takes these incredible pictures, so. Um, he's going to be doing some more live streaming, and, um, and uh, for those of you that want to see more of his work and hear um, a, a special song of mine uh, that I wrote about the Louisiana uh, swamps that I'm about to play now, if you want to see a little slideshow and you have a YouTube channel, go over there, because on YouTube right now, my lovely assistant goat is doing a Frank Relly slideshow on YouTube. If you're not on YouTube, don't worry. You can go to Frank Relly's website and see all of his pictures there frankrelly.com. If you want to pay me for tonight's concert, um, this is when I tell you about my uh, merch as well. And um, it's really easy. It's just paypal.me slash Helen Gillet. You send me a tip of any amount that you're comfortable with. Also Venmo is Helen dash Gillet. And then you can buy virtual tickets online uh, on my Bandcamp site. Uh, which is also just Helen Gillet. It's pretty easy to find me out there. I try to keep it simple. Um, and you get a free download of an album if you do it that way. So Bandcamp. Also on Bandcamp, you can find merch, which um, this week I had a really fun time driving around and dropping off merch from last week's sales uh, directly to the porch. I wash my hands and I wrap up the merch after signing it. And I put it in a little bag, and I drop it in your mailbox. So, not Ohio. Not Ohio. That's right. Thank you. Uh, not if you live in Ohio. Sorry, I can't do that. But I can mail you. I can definitely mail one to you. Um, and um, yeah. So, but if you live in New Orleans, I will happily drop one off. And um, looks like the second half of the show is going to start out with Achafalaya, and um, this is a song, like I said, that I wrote about starting my life. Uh, where I, I was born in Belgium. I, I moved around a lot. Um, I lived in Singapore, Belgium, Chicago, Wisconsin, before moving to New Orleans 18 beautiful years ago. And, um, and the song's about slowing down and how grateful I was to find this beautiful city.
Thank you very much.
tune all right y'all I'm so happy to play for people on Royal Street there's a few people out there they're being very responsible thank you for listening Woo! and thank you for listening um, YouTube and Facebook and Instagram uh, to tuning inners that's my new term for you. I hope you like it. Um, I'm so, so happy that you guys are my audience tonight as well. And um, if you, if you want to send me some love uh, in, in the form of tips or purchasing merch, um, you can definitely do that. And if you don't know how to do that, you can um, go to my website to get more information. Um, PayPal me, Venmo, Bandcamp. Bandcamp, really good. Uh, service for musicians right now to uh, give them more more of your money goes to them when you buy merch through Bandcamp in case you're wondering all right uh, I'm gonna do a few more for you tonight and I'm so grateful for your um, your ears and your eyes and your comments and um, your presence thank you This is a song by Georges Brassens called La Non Demande de Mariage.
Mamie de grâce, nous mettons pas sous la gorge à Cupidon sa propre flèche. Tant d'amoureux l'ont essayé, qui de leur bonheur ont payé ce, ce sacrilège. Mais j'ai l'honneur de ne pas te demander ta main. Ne gravons pas mon nom d'un parchemin. Sous parole, au diable les maîtresses, que qui attache la gare au queue, au queue des casseroles. Mais j'ai l'honneur de ne pas te demander ta main, ne gravons pas mon nom par un parchemin. Flèche, ton amour l'ont essayé, qui leur bonheur ont payé ce, ce sacrilège. Mais j'ai l'honneur de ne pas te demander ta main. Ne gravons pas nos noms ben d'un parchemin. Laissons le chambre libre, nous serons tout, tout, tous les deux prisonniers sous parole. Au diable les maîtresses, que qui attachent leur cœur au queue, au queue, au queue, au queue, au queue les casseroles. Mais j'ai l'honneur de ne pas te demander. Cupidon, sa propre flèche. Tant d'aimereux l'ont essayé, qu'ils leur bonheur ont payé ce sacrilège. Mais j'ai l'honneur de ne pas te demander ta main. Ne grave pas le nom mal à parchemin. Ne grave pas le nom mal à parchemin. Ne grave pas le nom mal à parchemin. Ne grave pas le nom mal à parchemin.
tuning in. Woohoo! Hey! It's so fun to hear uh, a couple uh, sets of hands clapping out there. Um, and I know uh, you guys that are tuning in are uh, such beautiful supporters um, of my music. And here we are in the beautiful Frank Relly Gallery uh, in the heart of the French Quarter. Um, Frank, I believe, is taking appointments to view this gallery individually um, in, in their uh, just one-on-one -on -one appointments. So. If you're interested in coming in here, you should give him a call. Check out his website. And, um, and tune into his, uh, his social media because he's going to be doing some fun stuff coming up. And I'm doing this regular Monday show on my social media, um, YouTube and Facebook and Instagram. And uh, if you want to see some other shows I've done, I've got a backlog of shows during this quarantine time and, um, and that I'm proud of. And you should check out um, some music if you want uh, at any any time you can just go and listen to that uh, I always love to read your comments right after this I uh, get to see all your beautiful comments um, and they really fill my heart so um, and uh, so please uh, please stick around and um, come back on another Monday night I'll be here as long as this thing is going on I'm gonna keep my Monday night live stream going so Thank you so much. Lots of love to everybody out there. Be safe, be well, try to stay sane and, and um, not get too uh, you know, upset at your loved ones that you're stuck in a house with or um, just be kind, be strong and uh, get some sleep. Take your personal space when you need it <laughs> and, um, and uh, just sending you a lot of love. And I wanna give a big shout out before I play my last tune to the people that have been helping me here in this space. Um, uh, First, I'm gonna uh, give a shout out to Goat, who is not only my assistant, but my partner in life. So can you um, give him a hand? He's, uh, he's, he's, he's dressed to, the, to the, the Mad Max nines. He's got his Bongo New Orleans t-shirt on here. Yay, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. And then I also wanna give a big shout out to Clayton, who is Frank Relly's amazing assistant, who has been doing all this beautiful work. This is Clayton, everybody. Yay! And, uh, and of course, the, the person who uh, gave me a call last week and really made my day because um, I wanted to celebrate Jazz Fest somehow, and now I got to do it, and it means the world to me. So um, check out this beautiful photography and give a big hand, and thank you so much, Frank Relly. <laughs> Come on in a little further in for Instagram crew. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, oh, there we are. Thank you so much for being here. And everyone outside, thank you all for being here. Because thank you, guys. You're, you're, you're bringing us just a little bit extra. Have any requests? Or else I'm just going to go for it. Sure. All right, here we go. This is a, a request from Frank Relly himself. This is Ride Into the Sun, a song. I'm um, going to give a big shout out, shout out to one of Lou Reed's um, uh, uh, man, man, the man behind the scene for a lot of the Lou Reed Velvet Underground um, recording. Well, really Lou Reed. He worked with Lou Reed a lot. Uh, Hal Wilner, who passed away a few weeks ago. Um, I've been thinking about him every time I play this song, so I want to give Hal Wilner a big shout out and uh, play a B-side to um, a Velvet Underground record. This is called Ride Into the Sun. And I hope you all ride into the sun this week and have a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful week. All right, love you guys.
Right into the side. 